Hello, it's Bud. Let's talk about making text cutouts and what we can and cannot do at the present time. What may work and what, what we need to watch out for. Here's a pattern that we attempted to make where we are using um, tabs, manual tabs. If I move this over so you can see, we're placing manual tabs on these four lines, or with these four lines, is what we're trying. But it doesn't work. I just tested it, and I want to show you what we have. Um, we get a false sense that it's going to work. You can see the bridge where the letters appear to be bridging the cutouts. But let's go to a photo that I took of a test carve before I aborted it. Okay, this is the actual wood. And as you can see, the edges are perfectly smooth. It left no tabs. And I aborted it before the thing fell out. It also the R has another piece over here and it would have been a separate piece but there's no no bridge or anything anywhere on it so manual tabs do not work on this kind of a cutout we just need to understand what we can and cannot do at the present time so how do we solve this puppy let me get back in here to where I want to be Okay, let's just get rid of these manual tab lines. And let's go to our text and let's edit it. Instead of making it outline, let's make it raster. Let's try this again. Let's make it raster. And there's a raster carve. Now we have a problem we already know that these are two separate pieces when I do an outline. So let's deal with that to start with. Let's go up here and get a circle. And let's place the circle right here. And let's move it up and I'm not being very precise at this point. I'm going to do a carve region and I'm going to set the depth at 0, 0 0.0 and accept it. So I have that. Okay. Now let's just collapse this a little bit. We don't need to see that much. That way I can make this larger and okay, we can see what's going on. Okay, so if I highlight the circle and the relax, and all I'm doing is holding down control and clicking on both over here on the carve list. Now what I want to do is come up to outline. <coughs> and it's outlined everything. Okay. So now the cutout is available to me. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going for maximum. I did this on the frame elements and I'm doing it here as well. Minimum of seven tabs, period. And I want eight tabs per foot. Now that's not per foot of the board, that's per foot of the cutting tool as I understand it. We're using the 1 8 inch bit. And uh, if we want to do this in more than one pass, I can set that depth. But at this point, I'm just going to take a chance on it. And I want to flip the cut so that it's on the outside of my letters. And I'm going to accept it. 
So now I have the cutout. If I turn this thing over on the back side, I can see the cutout and I can see what happened where I put the circle on the R, which is what I wanted. Okay. So now I'm going to delete the circle and I'm going to delete the text that would be a raster carve. So now all I have is cut out paths. We can see the R still connected there. If I wanted them connected here, I would also have to probably put some circles so that they stayed connected. Even here, see they're going to be cut apart. So if I wanted them together, I would have to bridge this myself with a circle or a box. Um, but since I'm going to use the letters or the, the person that asked this original question wants to be able to hang these letters one at a time uh, in a random type order, don't want them in a line. <coughs> I could have also put a bar underneath if I wanted them to set on a line. Uh, and again, I would have to bridge or set it up so that the uh, the outline included the bridge. Okay, so that is tried and true, and let's go back and look at pictures. Okay, here's an actual photograph at the front. Uh, this is text test B for the front. You see I've noted on here standard cutout icon, 7 tabs minimum, 8 tabs per foot. You can see the tabs if you look real hard here. And you can see where the circle bridged this gap. And since you're seeing the um, the lesson as I'm talking, you don't need to know this bottom thing, but I put it on here so if someone sees the picture, they know that they can go to a lesson on text cutouts and see what I'm talking about. And here's a picture of the rear of my test. And you notice the tabs spurs throughout this particular letter. I didn't do the whole word. I just did the first letter. Uh, and then I stopped the project because I had proved my point. So that is just a little bit of how we can do text cutouts we cannot use the manual tabs like we thought we might be able to or believed we should be able to, but I can use the regular cutout by setting a carve area, bridging whatever gaps I need to bridge, doing an outline, and then applying the cutout. And possibly um, putting it on the outside versus the inside. And I hope that helps.